Hey guys, Dale here. I'm going to show you how in Windows 10 you can play back or watch any DVD movie for free without buying any software. Now if you want to buy software, some of the popular ones I got here are the Nero DVD playback and authoring software. This is their website. You can see just an upgrade is like almost 60 bucks and the full version is like 90 bucks. Who wants to do that? Then you got the Power DVD, probably the most popular one that you can buy. It's around 80 to 70 bucks. Don't need that. Now, if you want to watch and play a Blu-ray movie back, if you have a Blu-ray player on your machine, you can go and download this uh, free Blu-ray player. However, be aware that this being free, if you download and install it, you're going to get inundated with ads and pop-ups every time you open it. And while you're using it, this company is going to try to get you to pay pay for their deluxe version and buy all their other goodies. So if you're really desperate to watch a Blu-ray and you don't have any Blu-ray playback software, this, this is a free one and it does work, but watch out for the ads. <clears throat> now, Windows 10 does not support by itself DVD playback. If you go into the App Store here, the Microsoft Store, you go up here to Search see I'll type in DVD there's the Windows DVD player that you can pay 15 bucks for and it's a real basic simple player but it does play back a DVD software or DVD movie now if you had Windows 7 originally and you upgraded or any version of Windows 7 even the starter edition I believe and you upgraded to Windows 10 did the in-place upgrade Microsoft was kind enough to give you we go to the programs down here all the way down to W you got the Windows DVD player here that, that will play back a DVD movie so if you had Windows 7 and you did the upgrade there you go but if you uninstall it and you want to reinstall it you have to buy it so there's a really good free one out there let's open up Chrome here just go to Google we're gonna just simply type in right there it is download VLC go right here to their download site and right here we'll click download we'll wait for it to start downloading down here in the corner in just a sec <clears throat> now if you did a clean install of Windows 10 or you used to have Windows 7 and you did a clean clean install of Windows 10 unfortunately you're not going to be able to play back a DVD authored um, you know disk or say if you buy a new gadget or something and you and you get a user manual or something like that that's on a DVD disc you're gonna need a player so let's go ahead and click on it on the VLC and hit yes on the UAC here and choose English if that's your language hit next next gonna leave all these just the way they are and we're going to install it into the program files and we'll let that install now this is a really good solid media player it'll play audio CDs um, MPEGs and MOV files like QuickTime files been in Windows 10 even even their uh, little where is it here their little movie and TV app here that'll play dot MOV files and MPEGs and of course the old Windows media player is still in here too for now that's probably going to disappear pretty pretty quick but that doesn't support DVD playback just waiting for it to install here guys <clears throat> but if you want to buy one of these ones up here hey all the power to you but no reason to pay for it when you can get it for free so we're gonna go ahead and leave that checked I'm gonna hit finish and we'll go ahead and let it open up there and there it is you can see that's the VLC player. So I got a DVD here. I'm going to pop into my optical drive. Give that a second to warm up. There we go here. I'm going to click on this. And I'm going to choose this. And there's the movie, Inception. I'm going to close that out. So now let me pop that. DVD disc back out now again this will play any DVD author disc whether one you made or 
somebody you know had a wedding and they gave you their wedding on a DVD, it'll work great. So let me pop that back in again. The DVD movie. Give it a second. And I forgot to check the little box down here. But here I'm going to fix that right now. Let me just open that up real quick. Sorry, guys. Close that out. I'm going to go right click on my start menu. I'm going to go to run. Type in control panel. I'm going to go to the old fashioned legacy control panel here. And I'm going to go up here to autoplay. And under DVDs here, oh, it's set to ask me every time. We're going to, okay, under DVD movie, we're going to choose right here, play DVD movie using the VLC, even enhanced, right there. Now, I, I have the Windows DVD player, but this is for demonstration, obviously, and the VLC works really good. So I'm going to close that, do it one more time, pop out the movie, pop it back in. And there you go. Now that's that's going to be your default DVD player, the VLC player. And you can make this thing full screen and all that good stuff. And you got, you know, pause and play and all the different things there. So that's it, guys. That's a good solid DVD playback program. Hope you enjoy it. Have a great day. I hope this video was helpful. And don't forget, subscribe. See you next time.